he made a point about something and I thought it was interesting. He said, you know what? I think it's good that we have OnlyFans. And I asked him, I said, why? Why is that a good thing? And he's like, because imagine somewhere out there, there's probably some psychopath who's either going to go on a crazy spree or create a bomb or something. But the only reason he doesn't is because he has OnlyFans. And that girl that he's obsessing over is keeping him in check. And I was like, that is some dark Holy <laughs> What's happening, folks? Welcome back to another one of them, Booze and Chill Buscast podcast. And today we're talking something kind of what's the word I'm looking for here? Just it's just it's just silly. It's 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 something that was invented by a couple of like I guess like couple of teenagers, and it just became its own thing. It's, it was a challenge. It was a challenge, and that challenge is a no nut november so uh that's what we're going to be talking about and uh but first the intro and so here we have i'm going to be joined today by my very good friend who hasn't been in the channel for a while and that is my good friend hey. Juliet. julius uh anything you like to say um honestly it's just good to be back because, I mean, you know, I have a lot of fun doing these things, you know, the podcast, you know, just talking about life in general, really, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's I'm what, happy that's to be what it is. That's what it is. And, um, yeah, this, again, this episode is going to be a little bit uh, unorthodox, but uh, yes. just a little bit. But, you know what I mean? That's how you keep these uh, podcasts interesting. And also, it is November, so... The challenge has started. What, what's what's today's date? By by the time this comes out, it'll be a Wednesday. So it'll be like freaking two weeks almost of this challenge being active. That is, if you know you are participating in it, which you are, leave it in the comments in the video podcast right down below. And um, I mean, this challenge, like, first of all, like who in the right mind would even like come up with that i don't know that's a good question um no not november i don't know where that came from i mean is there you know someone like me that loves history <clears throat> i want to know the history behind that honestly i mean yeah. somebody was so bored <laughs> no yeah because I, I think i, I ran this through a, a buddy of mine and he says that just like i mentioned in the beginning it was just a bunch of uh, assholey teenagers who decided to just, you know, challenge within themselves. And I guess it kind of just spread. Oh, OK. But when did that happen? I have no idea. And it's like there's like a couple of like people and uh, things out there that say that it's good to kind of sort of challenge yourself to do that. But then there's also like doctors who are saying that you shouldn't do that. I think it's interesting that the doctors got involved in this just because, you know, when this movement started, it was first published through the Urban Dictionary as early as 2011. And oh. it said that the movement started gaining more popularity in 2017. So sometime oh. in those years, people were actually starting to say, hey, you know, maybe that's a great idea. Let's start promoting no, no november maybe tell people <laughs> abstain don't ejaculate you know hold it in a lot of health <laughs> benefits but it's kind of weird because if you say people like if, if you were to tell somebody hey man don't nut it's good for you what would you think you're like well, why do you care if i nut or not <laughs> what kind of fucking stupid tiktok challenge is this <laughs> so it's like it if social media has such an influence on our life that people say, hey, you know what? If they said it's good for you, then I'm going to do it. I'm not going to nut for the entire month. That's what? How many days are in November? There's 30 or 31? There's uh, 30. 30. 30 days. That is, I mean, that's a long time to keep it in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, a whole month's worth of blue balls. Yeah. I and mean, it's cold outside. <laughs> and it's cold right now. 
So, I mean, it, it's I mean, the cold those... helps. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Keeps you going. <laughs> but I, I think it's the same reason why people started doing like the no shave November. It was just like, uh, hey, well, don't shave for a month. And if you can do that, then also don't ejaculate for a month. How about that? Let's do both together. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a very end. <laughs> That that's a very hairy situation. Hairy, hairy, frustrating situation. If like so, you're just like frustrated because you're just holding it in, and then you got that uh, itch on the face. <laughs> I think can make um, you go mad. Can make you go mad. I think it's interesting because think about how for somebody who has a girlfriend, boyfriend their significant other and they are sexually active um someone that has at least sex what two to three times a week um how would you suddenly tell them not to do it no more how would you say hey man like just keep it in you know hold, hold into that gravy <laughs> the gravy <laughs> the baby Cause gravy cuz cuz it's november <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a november nut joke so it's like <laughs> Not only don't do that, but like, you know, try not to think about pornography. Try not to touch yourself. Try not even to look at it when you're in the shower. Don't even don't even watch it. Don't even watch it. <laughs> You'll be tempted. God damn. I mean, uh, you know, like, what, 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 what's your opinion about No Nut November? Like, as far as as a trend it's a it's a trend now right like it's something that people do every year i mean according to google it's it's a trend um again i don't know why you would even think of such things because again uh this, this is just google but professionals say that it's not good for you there there ha it has no benefits and um because according to um doctors mm -hmm. a man a man needs to ejaculate at least how many was it 20 some times in a month something like that so basically 20 out of the 30 days <laughs> yeah that's so crazy <laughs> according to some doctors and i think it was uh i think it was my uh, my wife who actually googled that up just out just out of the blue just out of the blue and and like we said, there's 30 days in the, in the month, and we're supposed to be doing it 20 some. So, again, the professional saying that you shouldn't hold it back because, I mean, I I don't know what the outcome is if you don't. Uh, besides <laughs> some gnarly blue balls for the entire month, I mean, you may yeah, you start building up some more sperm, I guess. Probably. I mean, if that's what you wanted, <laughs> if that was your goal. But... Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it, though. I don't think I would be able to stand it. You know, I, I couldn't. <laughs> it's a very. It's like it's like uh, it's like when you when you have somebody with that has an addiction and they're just trying to cut out of it, and then it's starting that not withdrawals, but it's just like it's just uh, boring, I guess. Yeah. Very and, very boring. And I mean, if you're like a you know a priest or someone that's like you know a virgin you're really not missing anything because you don't know what it is to begin with i mean yeah. you've heard of it but you never experienced it and as far as like people who experience it a lot it is going to take a toll on you then I, you start having uh, withdrawals <laughs> uh. <laughs> um it kind of reminds me back in my teenage days like where it was kind of a little too often and then and then it was kind of hard to not do it <laughs> yeah but that was the teenage and, years but you see i think when you know you're learning about your body growing up i mean you just get curious <clears throat> yeah but then like the whole you know your hormones kick in you get all these new feelings you never felt then it just eventually happens where you naturally touch yourself and it's like oh wait a minute this is something i could have been doing this is a thing 
I don't need help for this. <laughs> ah, you nasty. But you know, <laughs> as you explore your body and learn new things, then you start to say, hey, how could this benefit me? I work a very stressful job. Maybe I could relieve a little stress. Or, oh, this uh, girl I like, you know, she's checking me out. I need to rub one out later so that I don't make it awkward walking around with a boner. Huh. Oh, my God. You know, yeah, I never so thought of that one. I, th I think what I'm trying to say is, like, you learn that <clears throat> in the beginning. And then someone to tell you later in life, okay, don't do that no more. You know, that's like, don't nut for a month. You can do this. Okay, but why do I want to do this? <laughs> I mean, why? Was, is there <laughs> what will I gain if I don't? Like, are you going to pay me? Am I going to get an award? Am I going to be number one? No nut. <laughs> <laughs> Bragging rights, I guess. Bragging rights, yeah, I guess so. I don't know why you would brag about that. It's like, exactly. guess what? I didn't get laid all month. Well, High five. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> was was as a joke? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, and also how you were saying about your significant other or whatever. There's a uh, there's a thing that it's not impressive at all to to them. It's like just like kind of how we're thinking about it. Like you know, like would you do it, and why would I do it? They, they 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 think the same way like they're just like why the fuck are you doing this <laughs> I, I think it's kind of sexist too because i mean women don't have the ability the ability to nut per se it's like so there's no way women can participate in this unless you're saying they themselves cannot receive the nut that their male spout like significant other can give them so in a sense what you're doing for yourself is taken away from them so it's kind of a punishment isn't it i guess you could look at it that way yeah that because even be, if, that could be upsetting for them yeah because even if you say oh well i'm doing this for me but it's like yeah but what about her needs she it's had no because it's a it. challenge babe it's a challenge you don't get it it's for the tiktok views and i swear <laughs> i think if she really was like okay i think he can't be serious and then you are serious it's like okay well then what can i do to break this you know am i going to be teasing him am i going to be wearing more sexy lingerie <laughs> am i going to be like oh i'm sorry you know and you're going to be like <laughs> <laughs> that to be is cheating <laughs> that is cheating <laughs> that's like oh man hey that but i think that just makes it the no nut november thing a lot more challenging like a lot more challenging. Should you feel bad if you fail? Like if you lasted like two weeks and then you said, I can't do it no more. I have to nut. I don't, I don't know the exact rules to it, but I mean, I, I feel like there is no losing me personally. Okay. Like, yeah. like there, I see no shame in somebody not being able to handle an entire month. I really don't. So Is if you something... are participating in this, like, and you, and you, you just can't take it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> the point is you tried your best. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like when people give up stuff in Lent, does it really last that long? 40 days though. That's a long time. That's an extra 10 days. Yeah. And, and then... most people that I know, they, you know, they slip up. They slip up, but they try. I, I've always liked that. Uh, like, like right now that we're on the topic of, you know, Lent, I, I always like when people like to say things like, oh, I want to give up sex or I want to give up something that, you know, you are genetically predisposed to doing. But people forget that you're supposed to give up like your vices, like drinking, smoking, um, chocolate, coffee, things that you do it all the time, you know? Mm -hmm, yeah. And I mean, if you're a sex addict, okay, then maybe sex is an option. I'm not going to tell you you can't do that. But it's like, I mean, your body naturally wants sex. So it's like a whole 40 days. It's, oh, that's worse than no, no November. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, again, it's, it's just an extra 10 days, but still, it's like, it's fucking nuts. Literally. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a no nut, no nut joke. No nut November. Oh, that's, so, that's, yeah. So, as far as consequences, if you don't nut, do you think uh, a man would be more on edge, agitated? Agitated, frustrated, just just um scrooging scrooging i'm not just saying that because it's december's right up right up uh after november but yeah you'd be definitely scrooging all over the goddamn place it's like some like you go you go to work and one of your fellow employees is like hey good morning look at that. fuck off <laughs> don't fucking look at me <laughs> you dingleberry <laughs> You fucking scallywag. What? <laughs> I haven't ejaculated. I don't have to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <my> God. <laughs> so as far as no not November, do you think men of all ages can participate? Or do you think there's only a certain range that this is like targeted for? I think it's targeted towards the youngsters because Again, uh, a buddy of mine informed me that this was a game that was invented by kids. <clears throat> and us, at our age, looking at this thing going like, you know, this is fucking stupid. It's a game. So there's some element of fun, but not really. So it's kind of, it's, it's a little confusing to, to us. But the, again, it's much more targeted for them because they're the... That means they're teenagers. I mean, we were once teenagers. We've done stupid yeah, we shit. So yeah. if it's if it's something idiotic and something and you can turn it into something like a game and a challenge, then there there will be takers. There will be takers. And what do you think is the age range? Like eighteen to twenty five? Yeah. High school ages. Yeah, right. Middle school ages. Probably, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, I feel like in middle school, or at least uh, as far as what I'm what I'm thinking, like they they would probably win <laughs> more. Maybe I guess if you're if you're like a a middle school player, then then you got your challenges. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but isn't that why we have our smartphones? Why we have the Xbox, the PlayStation? the tiktok videos we have so much distraction i think the kids now have a lot more things to distract them than what we had at that age fuck the entire fucking world has is distracted yeah it is <laughs> fucking um <clears throat> we're taking uh one of my kids my my six-year-old to speech therapy and there was a uh, we're, we're gonna have to well my wife wants to switch her because there's this one particular family that's there and the mother's always on the phone and the kids are like causing so much fucking chaos and the oldest girl is like telling her off and i don't know what the fuck like screaming and shit and this and this bitch is just on her phone like that's there's will be like little moments and this is just like what what i'm being told i wasn't there okay because if i were I, I would probably have to have gotten involved and she would just kind of peek over and tell them to shut the fuck up and stuff and it's like it's 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 gone that bad that the technology has become such a distraction that um, it starts affecting you know people and things around you. So as far as distraction goes, yeah, it's there's a lot of it. And I think also, you know, as we were talking about earlier, um, you have so much advances in technology <clears throat> that if you think about it. You know, not to be too gross, but, you know, when you're a young boy growing up in the 90s, you only had maybe, what, two forms of media, either on the Dirty Channel or the Playboy mag that you found. <laughs> the the staticky channel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, which, us, what channel was that again? I don't remember, but I remember it was called the Spice Channel. That's oh, all I remember right. the name. I, I do remember Spice. But you see, it's funny because if we wanted to experience that, 
I mean, we kind of had to work for it. We had to like search it. But the kids now they have in the palm of their hand and their phone right here. Yep. So if they want to look up any website, they can just do it and they go incognito and it's like, look at that. Now it's becoming so common. They have to come up with challenges not to do it. And I think that's where <laughs> no, not November came from. Uh, that makes that would make sense actually. I can because see it's, that. It's so frequent now. It's so easy. It's like, you know, now you have to teach yourself not to do it versus <laughs> us. Back we, in my day, we used to be ninjas about it. <laughs> you had to, be, yeah, we kind of had to be, or else we'll get our fucking asses whooped. <laughs> oh, God. Kind of. And you got to love it too because, um, you know, you, you grow up watching those movies like American Pie and, you know, Van Wilder, and you say, oh, maybe that's what it's supposed to be like that there's sex everywhere and you always want sex because you're a young man that's what you crave that's what you want and then it became like just so common that it was like hey you know like it's okay to be young and horny and you want to have sex all the time that's just part about being a male and it's like okay so am i weird or am i not weird (laughs) like what am i supposed to think (laughs) uh does that does that make me uh what's the word we're looking for? Damn, this is fucking slipped. Had but you see, being young is when you see that again, going back to the movies and saying, Oh, that fantasy, that that dream, that saying, Oh, that that's what life is really like, which it really isn't. But maturing is when you realize that a lot of the actors that came out in those films we're already in the early twenties when they were pretending yep. to be 16, 17. And it's like, okay, so then you guys are portraying what 20 year olds are supposed to be doing, not teenagers. So in reality, that's not true. And if it is true, now you're teaching kids that they're supposed to be doing this when they're not. And now they think it's a normal thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Not, not to mention the fact that the, the teenagers back in the teenage movies back then, Look like they were fucking 30. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm never going to look like that. So there's I no know. way in hell I'm going to get what they're getting. <laughs> I, I, I think it always makes me laugh because it's like, was it hard to find teenage actors? Or was their intention like, okay, I'm going to hire adult actors and then we can make them act like teenagers. And no one's going to know the difference. You're not going to ask that guy <laughs> on the screen, hey, how old are you? True. This was before Wikipedia and Google and anything else. So now we know the facts. Now we know how old they all were <laughs> at that time. But yeah, those those fucking teenage movies, man. I mean, they're they're really good. Like a good like a good amount of them were really good, and they uh, they really pushed the envelope as far as teenage horniness. Yeah, that was like it- that was like the main thing. And I'm not trying to go off topic here or anything, because I I think it goes back to the No Nut November. It's like, because remember, it shows here that 2011 was like the earliest that this trend became a thing. So if you're talking about what was going on 10 years before that, that's what I was mentioning, like about the American Pie, the Van Wilder. It just became so common in pop culture to say, hey, it's okay to be horny. It's okay to want sex. It's okay to touch yourself i mean there's a guy who put his penis in a pie and it's a it's normal if you want to do that and it's like (laughs) is it though uh he will ever uh be forever haunted by that movie oh yes jason biggs yeah man you (laughs) you took one for the team but it it cost you you typecasted yourself there you really really did um no no november and pies Oh, and it's November, so you got Thanksgiving coming up. Uh-huh. Plenty of pie. There's plenty of pies, bitches. <laughs> Maybe not a great combination. But... No, nah. no, mm. no, no. Nope. Man, but, now um, that you mentioned that, there's there's a there's a really fucked up weird connection with No Not November and American Pie now. It, and it, how, how we were saying that teenagers are just always horny. And then yeah. now we got to worry about our teenagers fucking our fucking desserts. I mean, if it's still a thing, I mean, 
uh, catching catching little Timmy sticking his dick in a pie, and then turns around with his bare ass, shame all all red and sweaty, and he goes, "It's because I did a challenge and I couldn't stand it. It was just looking at me." <laughs> I think one of my favorite scenes from any film is from the movie Bubble Boy uh, that stars Jake oh, yeah. Hall. So yeah. there's a scene where he's starting to grow into his body, right? So he experiences his first uh, morning wood. And it's like he sees it, he freaks out, he gets a little rubber bat and he smacks it. And he's like, oh, <laughs> ma. You know, it's just like, that's hilarious. That just, is funny. Because he's a kid who has never experienced it. He never got to go out in the world and understand what it's like to be a normal teenager. So he was just there thinking, like, what is this? So it's like, imagine <laughs> before we understood the concept of, like, the boner and the morning wood, we were probably freaked out by our own penises. It's like... The power oh, of the God. boner. Schwa. <laughs> <laughs> Schwa. Or so, uh, in, in the words of uh, of Beavis, boy, 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 <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I don't know. Like, if the kids now are still doing it, is it promoting health or is it promoting something they shouldn't be doing? This is what we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Do you think it's a? Do you personally think it's healthy <clears throat> to not participate or to participate in it? Well, according to the facts. It's not healthy. We're supposed to be ejaculating 20 some times in a month. Again, there's no minimum. Yeah, minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> those are rookie numbers. You got to get those numbers up. Well, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't say anything about over ejaculating either. Uh, but I mean, there, there's no. It's just it's just a buildup. That's all it is, and I don't just mean like sperm in the sack. I mean like emotionally. So I, I guess that's probably be the only flaw or the only bad thing that comes out of no no November. You're just gonna have a lot of grumpy dudes everywhere. Yeah, and pretty much. That's, I mean, the world is already full of people like that. The the last thing we need are. are the the good ones turning into the dark side just because of a, of a fucking teenage challenge. <laughs> can I can I um expand on that for a little okay. bit? Okay. Not not to go a little dark, but I remember I was talking uh to an old friend of mine a while back and we were talking about um you know like the you, you know the services that you pay for online like the what do you call it? The the things that the girls start when they want to like sell their body for money. <clears throat> oh, you mean um, OnlyFans? OnlyFans. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, that yeah. was getting to me. I couldn't remember. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So he made a point about something and I thought it was interesting. He said, you know what? I think it's good that we have OnlyFans. And I asked him, I said, why? Why is that a good thing? And he's like, because imagine somewhere out there, there's probably some psychopath who's either going to go on a crazy shooting spree or create a bomb or something. But the only reason he doesn't is because he has OnlyFans and he masturbates aggressively. And that girl that he's obsessing over is keeping him in check. And I was like, that is some dark Holy stuff. Fuck. <laughs> but <laughs> it makes sense because it's like, as long as he has that, he's distracted and he won't act out on the other urges. He's just going to be like, nah. I got to buy her panties. I got to, I got to subscribe to her premium. I have to do it because it, I have to. <laughs> God damn. So in reality, as gross as it is, we have some heroes out there and they're undressing for those dudes <laughs> and keeping them in check. We have some naked heroes out there. Yeah. So but there's also, you. there's also, I've heard like one or two stories where they get too overly obsessed and that they actually go to them. Oh, well, yeah, but that in then, itself is like, I mean, I, I don't have OnlyFans, so I understand how the rules work, but I would never yeah. give them my name and 
my real name and address i'd just be like no 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 dude been... like they they just they just find them and then there was this one case that, that i heard somewhere where the they they look her up they go to her and then find out that the girl has a boyfriend or is married or some shit which is usually the case yeah and that's like how disappointing is that for the for the poor bastard who took the time to fucking google up her information her address or her location go to her and then like oh thank you and then goes and kisses the the husband or the you know the other guy like fuck that's a total letdown <laughs> yeah I, in, I'll, in I'll which case that. in which case that how you were saying the that these people are, are are heroes because they're keeping them at bay yeah that that will be the breaking point and be like fuck this <laughs> yeah because at some point the fantasy is not enough anymore it has to be real it has to be like yeah. something they can touch and hold and that's where it becomes too far and yeah but hopefully whoever these people are if they're out there they don't at least try to hurt anybody and then the girls who do it are smart enough not to be victims or make themselves vulnerable in those situations so um for those of you who have only fans we salute you there's no shame you do what you got to do times are hard they are and uh if you turkey's do get, not cheap <laughs> turkey's not cheap that's right it, it is not cheap um uh, so yeah if you do that no shame do what you got to do and uh keep us safe <laughs> keep us safe as julius was putting it so when um when people talk about no nut november do you think it has a big impact in pop culture because if you were to look up any movies do you ever see anyone talk about it or display it in the more recent films i haven't unless you have hmm. the only example i can think of and this is from an old movie already is with uh josh hartnett and he comes out in a movie called 40 days 40 nights where he re um he withdraws from all sexual activity because it's supposedly going to help clear his mind and give him a new oh, beginning. I, don't think I don't think i've seen that one. Oh yeah this is like from 2002 2003 it's an old movie already but okay. i mean that was one of like his better movies before, you know it was after the faculty because to me, the faculty was probably one of the other movies he did that was really good. It was a good one. Yeah, I like the faculty, but nobody died. And you being a very big, um, you know, fan of horror and the thriller genre, you understand that in horror films, if everyone survives, which in that film, they basically all survive, that's considered a bad thing. And in the movie uh, Cabin in the Woods, they picked they poke fun at that because they said, oh, well, where were you in 1999 when all those kids survived? It's like, oh, so that they made fun of the faculty. They were like, oh, so <laughs> nobody died, you know? <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not to get too much into the off topic about that, but I was just like, you know, it's funny how people don't realize that in a horror film, you need to at least kill, I want to say half of the cast. Yeah. I mean, you can't have everybody survive, then it's not a horror film. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. A good horror film always has like at like at least the lead character survive. Yeah, because they're the main ones. They're they're yeah. the ones that somehow get protected, even though everyone else somehow just easily gets killed. Yeah. Same and also age. also <laughs> they have to have an excuse to have bring back a, a sequel. Always. Somehow <laughs> always. The killer doesn't die. He just gets put to sleep for the next movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but oh well. But the faculty, that's another uh horny teenage movie. Yeah. A horror movie. But uh yeah, that, that teenage horniness is just it's like it's a crucial, it's a crucial element in, in the in all type of uh genre of teenage movies. Mm-hmm. It's, like it's heavily portrayed. And I mean, I think sex has become so big in pop culture and in the world 
that sex sells. Sex sells, of course. Yeah. So if you're an 18 year old boy becoming a man, if you want to say, and you're seeing how much the world has sex involved around you, well, there wouldn't be any harm in saying, oh, abstinence, stay a virgin till you're married. No, not November. Like these are all things trying to counteract the world that we live in because we are surrounded by sex. It's just everywhere. And true, if you don't true. believe that, you think about it. Look at the hamburgers for Carl's Jr. Girls are always in bikinis. And if you go to Ojos Locos, there's girls in bikini. You go to the, you know, GameStop and you want to buy a video game. What does Grand Theft Auto have? There's a girl in a bikini on the cover of a video game that was meant for a mm-hmm. teenager. True, so you true, tell true. me, like, how is sex not everywhere, you know? And then... I mean, it I know. Sells. It sells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and not to get too off topic either, <clears> but like, you know, here locally at the mall, you know, you go to the food court, let's say with your kids, and what's near the food court? Remind me again. I think it was a Starbucks, a Hot Topic. And a Victoria's Secret. Oh, yeah. It's like right down, right down the corner. Yeah, that's true. That's so. True. I mean, if you're a kid under the age of eight, you're not going to pay no attention to it because your mind doesn't wander, but it is going to see, you know, women in their underwear portraying mm-hmm. themselves on the on the big pictures, on the videos and the of all sizes. The- now, it's no longer just the the skinny models anymore. Yeah, of course. That's the only positive like yeah. outlook that's come about in the times that we are living in. But yeah. It's still like you're bringing your family and they see that. And I mean, if you see, have a little 14 year old boy, for example, he's going to see that and he's going to start saying, oh, I have a funny <laughs> feeling in my pants now. <laughs> and I was saying that there's all different size of models now. So there's all kinds of fantasies and flavors of all kinds of choices now. Yeah. For any taste. So... <laughs> So, I mean, it's it's just, you know, the, the world... It's just, make, just making it harder and harder now. Ah, harder and harder. <laughs> That's a double whammy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I can see why No Not November was created. I mean, if you think it would help. I mean, if you think it would keep you from sinning, you sinner. <laughs> I, just, I just see it as some kids just doing it for, again, for views. I mean... I I have not not that I'm, not, not, not that I'm t- uh, talking about this. I have not seen a no not November challenge uh, document. You know what I mean? Because in order to make this into like a like a TikTok challenge per se, you would have to document for a whole month. Yeah, I mean, but that would be how, weird. How would you monitor that though? Like, how do you know that the guy wouldn't be? Touching yeah, himself, would be you the know? tricky part. That would be the tricky part. I guess you have to do it like in pairs. Like there's no scale to measure your testicles to make sure that the fluid is not leaving. (laughs) It's like there's no way to really measure that as far as like, because, you know, when you shower, you can do it in the shower. Yeah. And then you get rid of the evidence. That's what I'm saying. You you would have to do it in pairs. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Like you would have to have a shower buddy. You have to have a a, a bathroom buddy. A bathroom. <laughs> Dude, you you would have to, or else like like you said, you get rid of the evidence. You can easily get away with it. Just yeah. for the win. And just to be like, oh yeah, I, I didn't nut. And you can't prove I didn't nut. <laughs> there literally have to be somebody in there with you in the bathroom, just staring at you like don't 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 you have somewhere else something else to do? Like, nope. Nope. I signed up for it and I'm committed. <laughs> I mean, the only way I can imagine this would work is if you put someone in a room for the whole 30 days of November just so that they don't, you know, actually nut. They're going to be on their cameras and infrared. And <laughs> I, I feel like that would be the only way because it's like... That, that'd be some extremes, dude. Well, you know, you ever see that uh, uh, YouTuber, his name is uh, uh, Mr. Beast, that he does something mm. similar but yes he pays you every day that you're in that room and then he removes items so that you can get like the urge to want to leave the room because you're getting bored you're getting like Ugh. 
So something similar, <laughs> but from the no not November perspective. Yeah. And uh, if this just so happens to uh, hit Mr. Uh, Mr. Beast, you should probably hit me up. And or why haven't you made a no 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 not November challenge on your YouTube channel? Because now, uh, now that you mentioned it, I'm like, he could do that and get away with that just and, because it's him. And he probably has a chocolate bar already that says no nut chocolate. <laughs> Actually, I think he already does. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He can promote the chocolate. He <laughs> he it's a win-win for him. It's <laughs> it's like the guy to not nut all of November gets a lifetime supply of my no nut chocolate. <laughs> oh, and a car. <laughs> and a jet and because a jet. he can do that i know he has the ability <laughs> it's amazing uh so mr b this this uh comes comes across uh your your uh what's the word i'm looking for ah that fucking you know if if, if you just so happen to watch this you we, we need we need we need you in here bro an interview would be pretty sweet or leave it in the comments would you guys love to see that that'd be pretty cool if you guys that can help me out cool. with that um but uh what else do, what else is it to say about no no november besides it being a kind of dumb <laughs> do you think there would ever be the female equivalent i mean not to make genders right but let's just say mm. for the you know what this is for yeah we're not gonna get too yeah. much into that topic right now yeah but you understand who the targeted audience is for yeah there we go. <laughs> so, so let's just say, would the opposite audience be able to have the opposite? Yeah, a chance at it. No. Nah. And what would you call it? <laughs> no chance in hell, dude. I mean, damn. But I, no, I doubt it. I doubt that that will ever be a uh, opposite um, thing because. And according to what I looked up here, they think that it's 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 stupid. But I mean, there's there's some there's some uh, ladies, some females out there that also fall into the teenage idiotic psyche. <laughs> yeah, I believe and, that. And and I do believe that if a man has said, "Hey, I'm gonna participate in No Nut November." they should at least clear it with their significant others before they continue because it, it's like what we mentioned earlier this will affect them and then yeah. you know they're also going to get frustrated and they're going to be you know worked up <laughs> it, yeah it, it, it works on both sides honestly it does and then you're both going to clash and it's just a fucking nightmare yeah it is and it's it's going to be like do you really want to torture them as much as you're torturing yourself? I mean, <laughs> it's like, why do I have to fucking go down with you? Yeah. <laughs> you selfish bitch. <laughs> and then, like, let's say you participate and you make the full 30 days. What do you think you're going to feel like on December 1st? <laughs> you think you're going to be able to want to go back to it after that? <laughs> You're going to be like, it was so much. It's uh, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> just because you're, you're just so beautiful. And <laughs> it was funny. It's funny you mentioned December because this is apparently a thing, too. I don't know if this was like also invented the same time no, no, November was, but there's this thing that is called the Destroyed Dick December Relief Month. <laughs> You're joking. No, it's it's it's, it's there. Real. You can look oh, it up. <laughs> Destroy wow. Dick December, dude. That's like when you like it's okay. <laughs> so you go from abstaining to just going to town on just your cold, cold turkey. Cold. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because it's cold in December, but cold turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh man if ironic anything, by the point if you do uh manage to not nut all of 30 days you will have the intentions to fuck a cold turkey <laughs> at that point oh my god <laughs> like i don't even care as long as it's 
as long as there's a little bit of skin in it. <laughs> oh my god, I, I don't know, man. That's. <laughs> I mean, is that really any way to? end the year to start the new year it's like no you're well gonna... you'll be a lot more jolly <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. like it's like like old saint nicholas after a night with mrs claus and a few batch of cookies let's just say something. if i was let's just say if i was a cow i'm completely milked <laughs> <laughs> gross <laughs> And I like one one of those cows that are in the wild. I mean, the ones that are tr- uh, strapped onto those sucking mechaniz- mechanisms. Just, one of those, just all day, all day. <laughs> Destroy it! <laughs> oh my god, that's so yeah, that's that's a that, thing. That, that that paints a pretty picture, doesn't it? Well, in one way, you can see it as a pretty picture, but in another, I mean, it's like how I, you say it got everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> i mean i know they call it beating your meat but this is like pulverizing your meat it's like yeah. leave no survivors <laughs> no survivors <laughs> oh my god but um it's it's just the challenge that i mean if you're up for it you, you're up for it i mean that's fine by me i mean you do you and then ugh, the, that December one, man, it's just like it's a, it's a good one. Like, who takes the time to make things these things up? It's Teenagers. Like, <laughs> yeah, and you know December is like the craziest month of them all because that's when you're buying presents, decorating, you're going out on Black Friday deals and trying to get the Cyber Monday deals, all the way to December, and then to wrap Christmas presents, gingerbread houses, and then somehow you're gonna be beating your meat. It, it, <laughs> Where did you find the time? <laughs> uh, throwing somebody in a pit of uh, in a Black Friday sale in the last days of November, that physical contact of just like rubbing up against people and fighting with people, they yeah. would get they would get uh, wild up. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> and, and that's that's how that's how incidents happen where it's. Uh, you know, so and so got touched. <laughs> what What do you have to say for yourself, sir? No, no, November. You fucking idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my store. <laughs> oh man! At that point, imagine having to avoid every restaurant that has even, you know, like what they call the restaurants, like the Hooters, the Twin Peaks. <laughs> the ojos locals of the community like you can never go to any of those places during the whole month i haven't been to ojos locos yet i've been planning on it though i mean that's if you want to go i mean i'm probably never gonna go and if i do (laughs) i have to be like ray charles with the glasses (laughs) like what (laughs) you were supposed to me and the way we're supposed to go because we tried the the one next to it that seafood place. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Krabby's. Mr. Krabby's. Uh, not, not the best. I will say that. And then we made plans to go next door, but we haven't gone. But hopefully soon. Um, yeah, yeah, it won't, my, be, my... it won't be so much of a problem for me because I'm not participating in no, 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 not November. So <laughs> I am definitely not participating. <laughs> I mean, we there lost. Were... Yeah, we lost, and um, it's okay to lose sometimes. I think that should be the message. There's no shame in losing because nah. you're winning in another area of life. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, like I said, that there is no such thing as losing in this challenge. Yeah, the o- just... only thing you're losing is your time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, so, I mean, god. I guess to the no nutters of the challenge. I mean. We salute you, but I mean, you're on your own in that. You <laughs> you're know, a fucking pilot. idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have fun not nutting when it's supposed to be like something you should be doing with your, yeah. you know, significant <clears throat> other or by yourself, solo or duets. It's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> Trump, tr- trumpet solo or not. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I get that from? I got that from. Oh, be kind, rewind. 
be kind of rewind. <laughs> Good one. Uh, but uh, I, I think that pretty much covers No Not November. I mean, it's, it is what it is. A challenge. And there's really nothing else to it. It's simple. But challenging. Challenging nonetheless. I think there's so many other challenges in life that are a lot more, you know, tedious or more fun than that particular challenge. So as you mentioned, yeah. you and I, we will not participate because there's no point in it. There's just no reason to waste your time. Now, the cinnamon challenge, that would, that's a fun challenge. Like, who can chew a spoonful of cinnamon before coughing? I mean, he can pull oh, that off. Yeah, that's right. Or What was the other one? The, the ice bucket challenge? The ice bucket challenge, that's another one. That one's actually oh, that one actually has good health benefits. <laughs> and it actually was promoting something positive, you know. That's I think true. it was for the condition, what was it called? A ALS or something like that. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Yeah, I, I don't remember that time. I think if you if you were to combine the ice bucket challenge with no not November, you can last. <laughs> oh. <laughs> an ice bucket, an ice bucket bath every day, you will be the no nut november challenge i mean uh king sorry it's like imagine if no no november was to be fun they should make it interesting they should say every day that of no nut november you're going to be hit with obstacles like so for example day one you're going to get something simple like uh someone's going to post a random pornography picture in your room and you have to be tempted not to like want to look at it and touch it and that's just day (laughs) one (laughs) <laughs> day five will be like oh by the way this girl says that she really likes you and she's a 10 and she wants to contact you that's if you're single of course so yeah. like, you fall for it and then like day 20 would be like oh look a used girl's panties just for you <laughs> just give up already it's there <laughs> and that's where you have to be like mm. what will be the boss level oh like my you, god your your uh your partner not like the guy that you're like teamed up with that keeps you uh from nutting and also challenge you at the same time somehow manages to get that that crush of yours to send the nude picture oh my god that would probably be boss level <laughs> that would be boss level and the fact that your boy your 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 friend went to those levels and can do that it's like fuck dude you're way into this <laughs> be like no this is it like either you want to look at it or I'm going to delete it and it's gone forever. Never to be seen again. <laughs> She's waiting for you, bro. I winged man this entire month just for you. <laughs> this is it. This is your moment. Either you go through with this challenge or you break it right now and you'll get the greatest gift ever. <laughs> God damn. That's some next level. No, nut. that's what I'm saying. If it was like hey, that, that, I would be, be like turn into a movie, actually right <laughs> another teenage movie with a uh, no not november in fact that should be it should be titled no not november that'd be fucking cool but yeah that would be interesting i would definitely watch that challenge unfold <laughs> man you would really have to have a good friend of yours who will put in the work and going in with you and seeing your and seeing your dick for an entire month <laughs> oh my god and you know what's another good way to torture them? Imagine on day 15, you put loud audio of just like a, a woman moaning during sex. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and you, and you got to be there like, mm, no. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. We uh, put that Rob Zombie track, the one that starts off with the moaning. <laughs> oh, my God. I love this song. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on repeat. I just want to hear it over and over again. If that's okay with you, uh. this is great music, man. <laughs> oh my god! But I think that pretty much covers this no November topic. Pretty much, pretty much. So, again, up to you if you're you're up for it, if you're into that, or if you're not. Again, leave it in the in the comic section in the video podcast. If you are just listening to the podcast, um, uh, there's a there will be a section there where you can answer a few questions in there as well. Uh, let me know 
if you think it's stupid, if you actually have participated back and when you were a teenager or if, like you're trying to revive it for some reason or something, leave it, leave it right in the comments section. And uh, anything else you'd like to pitch, my good sir? I would definitely say if you choose to participate in No Nut November, then you definitely question where you at in your life to think <laughs> that that's what you need to do. <laughs> but if you want to do it because you're bored, then I guess my mm, man, you know, man, <laughs> it's like there's a lot of other things to do in the world, so you need to find out what there is, you know, be more creative, yeah, be more creative. That's right. Yeah. And uh, well, yeah, that settles that. Uh, you know how this works. Uh, follow all booze and chill, uh, social medias, uh, support uh, myself and the and the YouTube channel by becoming a member. A Patreon member but on Patreon slash Boots and Show. You can see behind the scenes making of and stuff that you are not going to see anywhere else. And of course, support the podcast on Spotify only. Oh. I like saying podcasts like that. I don't know why. It just gives it more oomph to it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> but yeah, I think that pretty much ends that. And we will catch you guys in the next podcast or yes. in the next uh video in the channel and we'll see you guys in the next one peace